Now, uh, one of the beautiful things about the TI-84 is that you can make a box and whisker plot. So I'll show you how to do that using the geometry quiz data. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is enter your data in a list. And I'm showing you the list here on the right. So make sure that the data is in the list. Then you're gonna, once you get the data in the list, you press second stat plot. Okay. Oops, it paused. So press second stat plot and then press enter. Make sure plot one is turned on. Select the fourth icon under type. Pick the plot with outliers right there and press graph as necessary and zoom and nine and trace an arrow to see the various values. All right. So that will draw your box and whisker plot. Now you can also do a histogram, which I'm doing on plot two here, and you can actually have a stacked plot with both your histogram and your box plot, which is a great way to identify. First of all, outliers are beautifully identified in your box and whisker plot. And the histogram, in my opinion, is a great way to determine if something is uh, unimodal or bimodal. Uh, you can look at the symmetry of it. And this also helps with the symmetry. So how do we describe data? Well, you want to remember this acronym, which is called SOX. Shape is for S, and that means tell if it's skewed, mound, uniform, or bimodal. Look for any outliers, any extreme observations. Uh, where's the center, which is your typical representative value, and the spread or amount of variability. So if I was to describe this distribution, and I really like having both of them there. Uh, first of all, I do have the data, I have the mean, and I also have the five number summary. So if I was to first of all start with the shape, definitely looks mound shape. Now without the outlier, it is roughly symmetric, and I would say it that way. With the outlier, that's skewing the mean to the left, and you can see that it's 76 whereas the median is uh, 77.5. The outlier is at a score of 15, which is this point right here. The center, you could use the median of 77.5 or the mean of 76.05 or 76.1. I would lean towards the median because of the outlier. The spread, you could use the standard deviation of 19.5 or the IQR of 23. Again, the outlier influences us to use the IQR and the median to report the data.